Yesterday we had the death of Lisa Marie Presley and I'm going to take a look into this. I want you to all sit back and relax and let's see how Lisa transitioned, has she transitioned. She was somebody who was one of the greatest reminders that we had one of the the most profound artists that ever walked this planet, Elvis Presley. That changed music. And I have the greatest pleasure to look into this tonight and to see what did happen. And before I start, I want to send prayers out to Lisa Marie's mum, Priscilla Presley, and her family. And I'm doing this for many out there. Many out there who have grown up around Lisa Presley, who are in that age group, who are great fans of Elvis. And I'm doing this also for my brother Paul, who was a great Elvis fan and also an Elvis impersonator, my late brother Paul. So sit back and relax and I'm going to get the cards and I'm going to have a look to see if Lisa's transitioned over. We're living in very strange times, guys, and um, <clears throat> life is like a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're gonna get. And um, I'm gonna see what the cards say. So I'm gonna ask Archangel Michael to come in. Oops, I've got a one jumping out so far. <clears throat> as I look at that yes he's got fairish hair but I see that is the love that a man is hurting at the moment on the earth plane I don't know if that's a partner ex-partner but I also look at a, a young son who passed away was it 2021 and I believe that was the core of Lisa's pain Lisa's pain so I'm going to pull some more out it's just bounced out okay I know she did numerous videos um, interviews on it saying the pain and the torture that she had gone through losing her son Elvis's grandson let's pull some cards out but um, I don't suppose nobody could ever, you know, explain it unless you've been through it yourself. To lose a child, no matter what age, it's called death in the wrong order. And I've been a, a medium clairvoyant for well over 30 years now. And I've counselled many who've lost children. Plus, I've gone through it um, in my family, watching my mum, my elderly mum, going through losing her son, my brother. It's death in the wrong order. And if you look back to, um, was it Carrie Fisher? Um, one mother, you know, followed the other, followed her daughter. I feel it's it's a broken heart that we're looking at here. And I'm going to have a look. God bless her. Okay. Got the three of swords. I've got the seven of swords. <clears throat> Lisa was struggling a lot. Obviously, anybody who loses a child, be it young or grown up, struggles a lot. And the pain that it takes out on your body. I know this, you know, with being a shaman, you hold on to it. You've got your physical your rainbow in your outer aura and lisa was broken she was torn she even said the day he passed our son that a big part of her went with him she was torn so there was a lot of pain in this area which is emotions you've got your different chakras and this is emotions and i feel she was possibly struggling with pains in her chest running up to 
before she passed over. Maybe it's months prior, okay? Maybe she just put it down to indigestion or... <clears throat> I do believe that there was problems there. Um, I am getting narcotics, but I don't know if that was from when she was younger. And don't forget anything like that. Um, any form of drug, even prescription drugs, if it's heavy, it can put a toll on the muscle heart. So I feel she had a tired heart muscle. She had a tired heart muscle. Obviously, there's no inquest what's come out. They've just they've just said that it was a cardiac arrest. But there was a there was a lot of pressure on here. I, you know, a little heart was like pumping faster, pumping faster. There was a lot of anxiety. I also believe that she was trying to sort something out to do with. I don't know if it was a, a law case or something financial she was trying to sort out. So she was all for our family. And I'm seeing if I can get her here. I feel I have, but she's not completely transitioned over. She's around our family, bless her. I'm seeing her stuck in pearl, purple and lilac. He's... I'm seeing her. She said the gate's open. She said that she has sort of stepped in and she's hovering. She's um still coming to terms because she wasn't ready to leave her children on the earth plane. But she's with her son. She's with her son. anything you need to say Lisa terrible injustice terrible injustice I don't know what she means by that could be to do with her dad she's saying daddy she's saying daddy she never got over her dad um in running up to the event she was very upset about it I don't know if it was something to do with a movie or something what had come out or a documentary about him She's shown as Graceland's. And she's pointing to her mum. And I feel it's as if that spirit's trying to put beautiful baby pink and holy spirit around Priscilla. Because Priscilla will be not very good. She lost her grandson. She's lost her daughter. In spirit, keep giving me this. It's everything's frequency, everything's energy. So one ripple effect can go on to another. And I know this with doing shame and healing, you've got to peel it like an onion. And sometimes we can hold on to old pain. And unfortunately, sometimes that can be manifested into other scenarios. There's been a lot of pain in the family, a lot of pain. She said that, she's saying that she became very angry and upset when she became a teenager. And yeah, she did try stuff when she was younger. She's laughing about Michael. <laughs> she's laughing about Michael. She's met Michael. Have you met Dad yet? Yes. He was waiting for her. The king is in spirit and greeted his princess greeted his princess and there's a there's a soul connection <clears throat> remember your your children can be new souls or old souls and I believe Lisa was part of Elvis's soul family she's saying she clashed with her mum she clashed with her mum but she loves her mum greatly She's saying she's back with dad, daddy. I don't know who Papa is. Um, maybe if somebody finds out, they can maybe comment on the link below, but she's given me that name as well. She's worried about the girls on the earth plane. She's saying... <clears throat> that even if she had been in the hospital and this had happened she's seen it all happened very quickly 
And yes, she did. She had a cardiac arrest. But she said she literally just jumped out of her body and there was no pain. And she's not talking about physical pain. She's talking when she she slipped out of her body, when she was lying down in her home, there was this sense... She showed me she was lying on the floor. And she showed me the couch. She's shown me that there was no emotional pain and then she became to understand when she left her body about how we hold on to it within our spirit and how it can affect our body and all that pain when she lifted out of her body she immediately connected with her son who was waiting for her and and her dad Elvis And there was this almighty love which just took away all that pain. And then she took a moment and looked around where everybody was panicking. She went to the hospital. Her spirit went to the hospital, followed. She just, the love was so beautiful. The pain was all gone. And she didn't want to go back into a body what was hurting and so heavy and dense. She's saying she's got the dog with her. I don't know what that means. She's not sad. She's sad that she's left her children on the earth plane. But she said that it's as if her time was up here. She was struggling with daily life. The torment, the torture. She could not get over the loss of her son. And yes, she's physically apart from her children on the earth plane. But the beauty about it is when you're over in spirit, you can move as fast as light and she can access her children. You know more once you cross over to the veil, over the veil. She's seen trouble about property. I don't know what that means. And I don't know if it's something to do with Gracelyn's or something else. But maybe that's to come out into the future. But yeah, it was all emotional pain. And she was at some, was it some award place or something or some gathering about Elvis she had gone. And everybody said that she looked different. It was the pain. And she's actually saying that there was pain in her chest and she kept putting it off, putting it off. She showed me medication and I don't know if this contributed or she wasn't on the right medication. Um, But there was a strain on her heart. It was broken heart. Broken heart, she's with her boy. And when her son passed, you know, he went straight to Elvis Elvis's grandson was a starseed and very sensitive. They keep giving us narcotics, so I don't know if that played a part there. This is just what's happening in this world, isn't it? It's the, the entrapment of what happens to the younger generation. Yeah, it'd be quite a big funeral. She's got a daughter there and she just wants her to believe in her, believe in herself. A book will come. A book will come from this family and I don't know who's going to be writing it. But Lisa will never be forgotten. In the arms of Jesus. Because Elvis was a big Christian, wasn't he? He's with his mum. Elvis scene. I've got Elvis. He's just saying that life after life. He was a star seed. He was doing, he was expressing it with his music. He came onto this planet 
to uplift the frequency. And Sean is his guitar. Media. Corporations. Once you make so much money, you know, you get wrapped up in things. And he had problems, as you know. Narcotics, up as, down as, prescription. And that was strain on his heart. So, he's, he's got like a pair of scissors in, the, in his hand and he's shown it's like it needs to be cut. And he worries for his grandchildren left. Priscilla's different. Priscilla's strong. He doesn't want this to go on into the future generation of his grandchildren. He wants them to believe in them. He wants them to believe in them. Great targeting. Great targeting what's taken place on this planet. And even if you're in the, the media, you're not immune to anything. You're not immune to anything. But it was heartache. And it had manifested into a problem with a heart. And there's Elvis, the king. Elvis the king. It's going on about problems with money. Something about money or something to come out about that. So watch for that. Shown as the angels in the gate to heaven. She's fine. She's she's wafting backwards and forwards. She's um, around her children and her mother at the moment. In a great love, she's going on about what never got properly sorted. Maybe she'll have to have another life with him. Michael was a star man. I know that sounds a little bit um, like I believe David Bowie was. You know, you get these starseed people who are artists. Michael Jackson was ahead of his time. He was a star man and he was targeted. He was targeted. And she's saying Michael's doing all sorts of crazy woo-woo stuff over there. But that dad's in heaven. There's different planes of existences. Different planes of it. There was a lost baby. Now, I don't know if Priscilla lost a baby or she lost a baby. There was a lost baby in the family. And Elvis always wanted a son. And she held on to that. She, um, she rebelled for a while. But Lisa Marie was a was his princess. It's the comic wheel. And Elvis is like that and he just wants it healed, he wants it healed. Angels are working on this. He believes that his grandchildren left on the earth plane are strong enough to come through this. One of them's an earth angel. One of them's an earth angel. One of them's an elemental. It's different soul origins, different soul origins. I'm being given um, a silver circle. It's um, like the circle of life. This is a silver circle and it's in a necklace and I don't know if this is something Lisa Marie had. Lisa. She was a fairy elemental. She tried to do things her dad did but not the same she's saying. She tried many things. She's, she's peace. She's at peace. She just needs to <clears throat> understand that people on the earth plane are going to grieve her loved ones. But she's saying she's back with daddy. Oh, 
And I sort of, even though she was a woman who's transitioned into spirit, I'm seeing him and he's nurturing that little girl sitting on his knee, that little fair-haired girl. And he's got his guitar in his hand. Is there anything else that you'd like to say, the pair of you? His words, his music will go on. He's, he's, he's laughing. He played his part to change music. There's a new understanding. And this understanding is, it's a new way of looking at things for people who are in the, the media, artists. It's like I said in my last video, it's not the case of a gloss Hollywood anymore. It's it's a new, more earthy, you know, wholesome, people being raw, people talking more about mental health and problems. Nobody's immune to this ascension. And he's smiling about the great music to come onto this planet. There's another great transition. We are ready for it. The, the rock changed the music. Elvis with his guitar. There's a next level coming in. And the next level is galactic. The next level is... It has a... A star energy about it. She's at peace with her dad. There she is. A worn out heart. A broken heart. That is okay now. That is okay. And I'm going to leave that with you with the sun card. We all go back to source. Like when I channeled Paul, my brother, he said we all go back to source and we feel the love. The love that we have when we are on this planet, if we are lucky enough to have that grasp onto that love, is nothing to what we experience when we cross over. It is nothing. It is a it is a tiny, minute little slice. And love is here for a reason to remind us that we are part of God. And I'm going to leave you there with a lot of love from Spirit. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Elvis. He's worried and he wants to put blessings around his family. He wants to put blessings around his family and we'll do that now i ask that all the archangels come in and heal the presley family from any past karmic pain and hurt with the blood of jesus christ the presley family is now protected amen this message i wanted to put out to today it's for for the collective that we are all going through our, our own grief, our own pain. And there is many mothers out there. There is many children out there. Sons, daughters, brothers, sisters. Mothers, fathers, partners. Even when we lose our animals. It's understanding that we class this as grief when we are here because we are grieving and we see in our, our loved ones going from physical to non-physical. But what I'm getting, guys, is they're seeing this life after life. When you're over the other side, they are not unhappy. There is life after life. And one day you will see all your loved ones again. Just look at it like they're in another room. I'm sending you peace, love, blessings out to each and every one of you. And I'll be back on in a bit. Bye. Take care now. Where am I? I think I'm stuck on end screen. 
guys, I need to stop doing this asshole traveling. I keep getting stuck in the cloud. But anyway, I'm stuck in my end screen. So don't forget, subscribe to my channel and press the bell for new updates. As far as you know, we're always getting up to mischief. See you all soon. Bye now.